Hi, welcome to Tea and Mystics. Today I'll be sharing a short review of the book Sacred Nature by Karen Armstrong while I am sipping on some Sakura Rose Tea from Genuine Tea. Karen Armstrong is a well-known religious historian and writer of many books that deal with the history of various religious uh, traditions and religious figures. I really appreciate and admire Karen Armstrong's book uh, work and I was very excited to pick up her book on sacred nature because she's specifically looking at how our modern more western relationship with the world around us is damaging not only the world but ourselves and how we could build a healthier and more sacred connection with the world around this around us sorry and how she does this is by looking at the traditions of Taoism, Buddhism, Confucianism, Hinduism, Judaism, and early Christianity, and really shows us the examples within the sacred texts and different practices of how to build that sacred relationship with the world around us. The book itself is structured in a way that each chapter is really looking at a theme, for instance, gratitude, sacrifice for one, the golden rule for another. And within that chapter, she really focuses in on one or two religious traditions and what we can learn about that theme from those religious traditions. And then at the end of each chapter, she provides some really concrete steps that we can take within our own life to really build that um, connection with nature through these themes. So I really appreciated not only the look at different historical, um, sorry, different religious traditions, but also how she brings it into concrete steps of things you can do in your life. I really enjoyed this book. Again, I really love Karen Armstrong's work. I think she writes in a very straightforward manner so that readers are really able to follow along and learn a lot and then try to implement some of those things into their own life. And I am with Karen Armstrong on that I think that part of the problem of our relationship with the world around us is that there is a bit of a spiritual crisis and it, we're just too disconnected from the world. So. I highly recommend Sacred Nature and I thought I would just read a little excerpt to give you a taste of what the book offers. Perhaps we should create our own five great sacrifices and build them into our daily lives. Every day we should try to honor in our minds the holiness of every single natural object and person that we encounter. Every day we will probably fail, but each time we should try and start again knowing that each person we come across is a holy mystery and that each animal or plant has its own unique dignity and beauty. All must be treated with kindness and reverence. Today I am sipping on some Sakura Rose Tea from Genuine Tea. Um, I'll share below a link to a video where I discuss this tea and some of the other teas that I recently picked up from the company Genuine Tea. And I just really love this tea. I find it just really lifts my spirits. It has a beautiful smell and taste and I think it's one that's perfect for having a mindful tea where you really sit with the tea, smell it, fully taste it, take your time with it, really bringing some enchantment into your tea drinking during the day. Thanks so much for spending time with tea and mystics. Cheers! <laughs>